Hey everyone, welcome back to Lil Media. Today we're diving into a topic that has been a significant headline in the aviation industry. Boeing and the safety concerns surrounding its aircraft, specifically the Boeing 737 MAX. Strap in because we've got a lot to cover. This story is not just about an airplane, it's about trust, reputation, and the safety of the flying public. So before we get into the nitty gritty, let's take a brief look at Boeing's legacy. Boeing has been a key player in aviation for decades, producing iconic aircraft like the Boeing 747. This American multinational corporation has left an indelible mark on the history of aviation, with its roots tracing back to the early 20th century. Boeing's pioneering spirit has led to numerous achievements, including the first jet-powered transatlantic flight and the development of the first wide-body airliner. Their aircraft have been a staple in the skies and have significantly contributed to the growth and evolution of the global aviation industry. Yet the company's shining legacy has been tarnished recently. A series of unfortunate events and safety concerns, particularly surrounding the 737 MAX, have cast a long, ominous shadow over Boeing's reputation. The once revered aviation giant is now grappling with trust issues and regulatory scrutiny. Now, let's zoom in on the Boeing 737 MAX. This aircraft was designed to be a game-changer, but it became the center of a safety controversy following two tragic crashes. The Boeing 737 MAX was intended to be the future of commercial aviation. However, its journey took a tragic turn after two deadly crashes within a span of five months. The first was Lion Air Flight 610, which plunged into the Java Sea in October of 2018, taking the lives of all 189 people on board. Just when the aviation world was beginning to recover from this shock, another tragedy struck. Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, also a 737 MAX, crashed in March of the following year, leading to the loss of 157 lives. These accidents were not just devastating, they were alarmingly similar. Both flights experienced severe difficulties shortly after takeoff, leading to uncontrollable nosedives. The similarities raised immediate red flags, and the world started asking questions. The spotlight fell on Boeing, the manufacturer of these aircraft, and the safety of the 737 MAX was called into question. In the aftermath of the crashes, countries around the world grounded the aircraft. It was a major blow to Boeing's reputation, and the company was thrust into a crisis. But what went wrong with the 737 MAX? To answer that, we need to delve into the technical aspect of these tragedies. The crux of the issue lies in a software system installed on the aircraft, known as the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCS. To understand the issues, we need to talk about the MCAS system. This system was designed to enhance the aircraft's handling characteristics and prevent it from stalling. However, it ended up playing a critical role in both crashes, but more on that later. For now, let's remember that the story of the Boeing 737 MAX serves as a stark reminder of the immense responsibility that companies like Boeing have. It's not just about designing state-of-the-art aircraft. It's about ensuring that these planes are safe for everyone, from the pilots in the cockpit to the passengers in the cabin. The Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCAS, Saga. The MCAS system is a software feature that was introduced in the Boeing 737 MAX to compensate for some of the aircraft's physical characteristics. Due to the positioning of the larger, more fuel-efficient engines on the 737 MAX, the aircraft had a tendency to pitch up under certain conditions. To counteract this, the MCAS would automatically adjust the plane's angle by pushing the nose down if the sensors detected that the aircraft was at risk of stalling. However, the MCAS system turned out to be a double-edged sword. Investigations into the Lion Air and Ethiopian Airlines crashes revealed that the MCAS system had repeatedly and aggressively pushed the nose of the aircraft down based on faulty sensor readings. This unexpected behavior caught the pilots off guard. Despite their best efforts to regain control of the aircraft, 
The relentless downward force exerted by the MCAS system ultimately led to the tra- Relentless downward force exerted by the MCAS system ultimately led to the tra tragic loss of life. The investigation reports also highlighted another critical issue. The pilots weren't fully informed about the MCAS system. They weren't aware of how powerful it could be or how to effectively counteract its commands. This lack of information proved to be a fatal oversight. The MCIS system, which was supposed to be a safety feature, ended up being a significant contributor to two catastrophic accidents. It's a stark reminder of how a seemingly minor software feature can have far-reaching consequences when not properly designed, tested, and explained to the people who are ultimately responsible for the lives of passengers. The pilots. In the aftermath of these tragedies, Boeing faced intense scrutiny. How did the company respond to the crisis? Well, that's a whole other chapter of this saga, and we'll dive into that in the next segment of our deep dive into the Boeing 737 MAX story. Boeing took swift action by grounding the 737 MAX worldwide. In the face of the crisis, Boeing's response was immediate and decisive. The company voluntarily grounded all 737 MAX planes globally, a move that was soon followed by aviation authorities around the world. This decision, however, was not without consequences. The grounding of the 737 MAX sent shockwaves through the aviation industry. Airlines that relied heavily on this model were forced to cancel flights and adjust their schedules, leading to significant financial losses. Additionally, the reputation of Boeing, once a beacon of reliability and innovation in the aviation industry, took a substantial hit. But Boeing was not blind to the implications. The company accepted responsibility for the accidents and publicly apologized to the victims' families. They committed to transparency and collaboration with global regulators to address the issues that led to the accidents. In the months that followed, Boeing worked tirelessly to correct the issues with the 737 MAX, focusing primarily on the MCS system. They revamped the system to make it less aggressive and more controllable by pilots. They also provided additional training and resources to pilots worldwide, ensuring they are better equipped to handle the system. The grounding of the 737 MAX also sparked a broader conversation about the relationship between aircraft manufacturers and regulatory authorities. It led to calls for more stringent oversight and regulation of the aviation industry to ensure that safety remains the top priority. Throughout this period, Boeing demonstrated a commitment to rectifying their mistakes and regaining the trust of the aviation community. They faced the crisis head-on, acknowledging their shortcomings and making significant changes to their processes. Let's talk about the lessons learned and the changes implemented by Boeing to regain trust. This crisis has undoubtedly been a challenging chapter in Boeing's history. However, it has also provided an opportunity for the company to learn, grow, and reaffirm its commitment to safety. From this experience, Boeing has emerged with a renewed focus on innovation, safety, and transparency, determined to regain the trust of airlines, pilots, and passengers worldwide. Boeing introduced significant changes from software updates to enhanced pilot training with the aim of making the 737 MAX safer and more reliable. In the face of adversity, Boeing showed resilience and commitment to rectify the issues that led to the unfortunate events. Let's delve a bit deeper into the safety improvements. The primary focus was on the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCS. Boeing reconfigured this system to be less aggressive and to give pilots greater control. This updated MCS now only activates once and will not override pilot inputs. In addition to this, Boeing enhanced its cockpit alerts and indicators, making it easier for pilots to understand and respond to any potential issues. This reduces the likelihood of miscommunication between the pilot and the aircraft systems. But the changes didn't stop at software updates. Boeing also recognized the need for comprehensive pilot training. They introduced rigorous training programs, which now include simulator training for all 737 MAX pilots. 
This allows pilots to experience and respond to different flight scenarios in a controlled environment before they take to the skies. Moreover, Boeing has worked tirelessly to improve its safety culture. They've established a new product and services safety organization to review all aspects of product safety. They've also implemented a new anonymous reporting system, encouraging staff to speak up about safety concerns without fear of reprisal. These measures demonstrate Boeing's dedication to not only fix the issues, but to ensure that such incidents do not occur in the future. They're not just looking to regain trust, but also to reinforce the fact that safety is, and always should be, paramount in the aviation industry. And that's a wrap on our exploration of Boeing and the safety issues surrounding the Boeing 737 MAX. It's a sobering reminder of the responsibilities that aircraft manufacturers bear and the constant vigilance required to ensure the safety of passengers worldwide. The journey to recovery for Boeing is still underway, but it's clear that they're committed to learning from the past and striving for a safer future. The aviation industry is evolving, and it's essential for manufacturers to prioritize safety above all. Today, we've walked through the legacy of Boeing, the controversies surrounding the 737 MAX and the changes made in the wake of tragedy. It's a testament to the importance of continual learning and improvement in aviation. What are your thoughts on the Boeing 737 MAX situation? And do you think Boeing has taken adequate steps to address the issues? Share your opinions in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe.